Hello ladies and gentlemen, here's a short video on how to change fuel injectors in your motor car in a petrol or a gasoline engine. Uh, what we're using is the Mazda MX-5 Miata Unis Roadster. Um, most cars, similar, similar setup. Uh, what we have here are two pliers. Uh, these are the tools for this car, will we'll do the job. A flat nose pliers like this. Uh, we have this long nose pliers, flat screwdriver, number 8 spanner millimeter, number 12 millimeter spanner, and a piece of old petrol pipe. We also have a white paint, Tipex or Twinks, whatever, and a cloth rag. Um, this uh, basic um, schematic of the fuel injection system. Here is your uh, fuel tank with your cinder unit and pump in the back. Um, this pumps the fuel out this way through the filter, fuel filter, through to the fuel rail which is one of these out of another car, through to the fuel filter and down to the injectors into your engine. There is commands sent from the ECU similar to ignition timing that will switch on and off the injectors to let in the appropriate amount of fuel for your driving conditions. Now, this is a fuel injector, your fuel injector, I have four of them here. Uh, these are to go away to be reconditioned. Um, and when you get them back, you fit them all with new O-rings. Uh, new O-rings and grommets. This is the gasket. This particular one is the gasket for the bottom, the inlet manifold that goes on there, on that end. This is just a dust ring that goes down around here and then an o-ring which seals the injector in the, into the fuel rail. To the fuel rail. Right. So basically Pretending that the o-ring is in situ, which this is easier to explain, this is an old fuel rail. The injectors go into the fuel rail like that, and they are connected to the electrical connection supply. Just a simple. And to disconnect them, there is a tag you press on the back, and you just pull it out. So. Now, we will go over to the car and I shall start to explain myself a bit better. So, we've got to open the bonnet, open the, the hood, as they say in America. Open the hood. And looking down at the Mazda MX-5 engine, this is a 1.6. I'm sure 1.8 is familiar as well, or similar. Here is your connectors. One, and your injectors. One, two, three, and four. Now, story is, to take these out, it's pretty straightforward. Just takes a little bit of finesse, and you will get there. First thing you've got to remove is this item here. This is connected to the cooling system. When you remove this, no water or coolant will escape. This little block of aluminium block thing has to be removed because it gets in the way of you trying to take out the injectors. So you remove this, all the screws, crack them off. But this screw down here at the bottom you will have to loosen off completely but leave in the housing while you lift it up. You lift the whole housing up, move it over to one side. Next thing you take off is this hose here, remove this off, and this little vacuum hose here from the inlet manifold, which is connected on to the fuel rail. Now, when you have that done, you've all those off, this moved over to one side, you can disconnect all these electrical connectors. But the pliers, preferably, is probably the handiest way to do it, you can get your 
pliers. I'll just do one, just as an example. I'll take it off and put it back on again. Just press it together, and up she comes. You sometimes might have to press them down and then pull them up, and up it comes. And to put it back, all you do is you get in your little fingers, and just press it right down again. So, when you have that, when you have the connectors out, you take off this 12 millimeter bolt, this 12 millimeter bolt down here, the two pipes, the flow and return, you mark them with some white paint on one of the lines and the other line you leave alone. And it's simple to remove the few lines. You just use your pliers to remove back the clip. And then you may have to twist the pipe. It might be a little bit, uh, you just move back the clip like that. I might have got that out of focus. You move that back there and then you get your pliers and you shake it around a bit and all is good. It should come off. Uh, what I do then recommend is you get the piece of hose you get your piece of hose make a loop and you connect them into this two steel pipes because you'll have fuel flowing out through there for a while it just stops the mess so when you've all that done I recommend that you remove the fuel rail and make sure you try to leave the injectors behind press down on the injectors pull up the fuel rail and the fuel rail will come up and your pipes down here which will get the screwdriver these two pipes down here this one goes between if you look which is very hard to see it goes between manifold inlet manifold one and two and the rear one goes between three and four so what happens is the fuel rail comes out pretty easy you leave the injectors behind take out your injectors take out your injectors then and then fit the new injectors using some light oil vaseline on the rubber or, or uh, grease if you want to silicon grease um, and you try to push push the fuel rail back on all four of them together while having the four injectors in the inlet manifold uh, this is is uh, it's quite important that you don't force them all together. Now, there is also in between the fuel rail and the inlet manifold a little spacer there. I'll show you an example of one. These can be lost, so we've got to be very careful with them. This is one right here. This one there. There's one of the spacers. There is two in it, and when you have that push back on, you put in the two balls, again, put back on your two pipes, put back on your vacuum hose here, your this other hose, all connections, all the four connections for the inj injectors, and then when you're putting this back again, make sure and have this bolt in position. This bolt down here, I'll go around here, get a better view. This bolt here, back in position, because as I said before, you won't get it in because the rocker cover will be in the way. Uh, and then you put in the, your four bolts, and when you're done, you can, uh, any other tips I could give you? Yeah, you can leave your bolts here on top where the spark plugs are, your bits and pieces, a good place to hold them while you're working on the car. Um, when you've all that put back together and your fuel pipes on down here in the right order you can sit in turn the key on leave it a few seconds the pump will build up pressure 
turn on the ignition, then turn and crank the engine. It'll splutter a little bit and it'll burst into life and she will sound and run better than ever before. The reason why I changed this is because the old injectors were worn or blocked up with crud and they have um, they suffer from uh, the, the, the car smokes and smells of petrol when it takes off um, and this of course is the schematic recommended thing to do is change that filter which in this car is under the back of the wheel arch underneath the car under a cover um, yeah there's a bit of damage here on the side which will be fixed next week and um, yeah that, that's all thank you for watching I hope this will be of good help to you